in this section, we'll learn a little more about Riverpod and how Riverpod help, helps us to update data. Now, previously, we have seen that actually we can update data like this, right? So where you have a copy with method and you update it. Now, this is a classic way of updating data in Dart uh, because you take part of the old object and new object put together and create a new one. Uh, I wouldn't say new object. Listen again. You take the part of the old object and new values and create a new object. That's what copy with method does. It takes part of the old object, new value, and then it creates a new object. So that's called copy with method because if it, for example, if you don't assign any of the values, it will get that value from the old object because you are not passing anything, right? But if you do pass, it will take the new value. But if you don't pass, it will take the old value and then it has the new value for other properties and together it creates a new object using this copy with method. And if you take a look at the copy with method, we have seen that and that's what exactly it does because over here it's checking if there is a certain value, if this is available. If this is available, it uses this one. If it's not available, it uses whatever was earlier. Anyway, uh, let me close this. This is not necessary. Okay, so now this is uh, why I did like this. There's a reason because the thing is that sometimes the thing Riverpod tries to do, uh, it overdoes everything, which is not good in one sense because you want to learn programming. You don't want to learn Riverpod. But once you know the concept, programming concept, this concept is transferable. And you could do it, you can use the same concept in other places. Like for example, now we learned here copy with method, the same copy with method, this kind of system you can use with getx, you can use with provider, you can use with block, okay? That's why I did that. But turns out Riverpod has its own way of doing this thing. So let me comment this out, all right? And then over here we can do like this, update data. All right, and uh, lessons, and it would work. It would work as well. And why it should work? Because you see this lesson object, when it's coming over here, we are passing, we already assigned everything, okay? So we don't need to reassign any values. In that case, actually, you can directly go ahead and use this update method to update your object rather than using copy with now the thing is that this kind of problem solving solution of course this only belongs to river pod not to programming concept but of course internally i believe it still does copy with method now i stick to copy with method the reason is because this skill is transferable if you use other packages if you want to make your own dart library so that's why it is Mm, transferable now here let's go ahead and work on this um, let's check whether it works or not it should work all right let's play yes here we are it's playing yeah just now we have seen this thumbnail have you seen that so it, it loads but sometimes if the operation is too fast then we don't see that all right okay now let's come over here for this one now okay well this loaded and showed immediately but anyway so yeah it, it doesn't create any problem nor that it created any crush so this part is working fine so this is extra support from riverpod which could be good or bad it depends on you how you use that and